This tutorial is to show you the Android device setup functions for optimal performance of the EasyTone audiometer. The items to be reviewed include basic Android navigation, Android settings to customize performance, Android password creation, connection to Wi-Fi, and creating a Google account. The tablet has been prepared by Mako with a three-button navigation style selected. The three buttons include Back, which allows users to move backwards through the history of screens previously visited, Home, which returns to the main screen of the tablet, and Task Switch. This displays all recently opened apps to assist with the launching or closing of an app running in the background. As all Mako training materials utilize the navigation style, it is recommended to not change this tablet setting. There are three settings Mako recommends you review once the device has been received. This includes the date and time, brightness, and sleep settings. To access the settings, select the settings icon from the tablet main page. Once within the settings tab, Select System, and then the date and time. Update the set date, set time, and or select time zone applicable to your location. Brightness is set to the factory default. To confirm or change this setting, select Display, and then Brightness Level. This is one setting that will influence battery life of the tablet, and it is recommended to set this to the lowest brightness that is acceptable to the tablet user. Screen timeout setting will also save battery life by turning the screen off after a preset amount of time. This setting is accessed within the settings menu through display and then screen timeout. The setting is defaulted to five minutes. When mass hearing screenings are being conducted, it may be necessary to adjust this setting so the tablet doesn't go to sleep between subject tests. The tablet password is inactive upon delivery. It is recommended to activate this setting for subject privacy. To activate the Android password setting, go to Security and Screen Lock. You are presented with several choices to select the preferred lock type. Once activated, the password must be kept in a safe and known location by the end user as Mako cannot reset. Although the EasyTone audiometer does not require Wi-Fi connection for testing, there are Android features built into the app that require Wi-Fi connection for use. This includes such things as emailing of a subject report, saving to Dropbox, downloading apps, etc. To set up the tablet for Wi-Fi connection, select Network and Internet. When the page opens, select the wireless local area network setting. When the screen opens, move the toggle button at the top of the screen to the on position. A list of available networks will be shown. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to join and enter the password and select connect. Creating or signing in to a Google account provides access to Google products such as Gmail or Google Play which allows improved functionality of the tablet and EasyTone app. As these accounts are free, creating a general business Google account is an option, but it is up to the location for best practices. To start creating the Google account, go to Settings and then Users and Accounts. Select Add Account. And from the open page, select Google and sign in or create an account. Follow the on-screen instructions to finalize the setup. Once a Google account is created, the user can use the Gmail account for emailing or sharing of files within the EasyTone app. Google Play allows installation of other preferred sharing apps or to access an email account other than Gmail. 
This completes this tutorial on Android device setup. Please continue through the tutorial series for additional EasyTone instruction.